and this is a 5.9 lost pocket rocket on 5.8, and it probably runs around 25 liters. And uh, this is one of the best boards I've ever owned. So, uh, yeah, three to four, up to four to six. Expect barrels, steep barrels, pretty much everywhere here. Uh, every wave on the beach, the point, uh, the right, shacks, shifties, um, a couple Sandino. secret spots, definitely Sandino. So if you're reading three to five, three to four, and bigger, don't even waste your time with a groveler. I'd bring a go-to board and maybe a little bigger board. So. Yeah, start something that you're going to be able to get in the waves with and actually perform. So yeah, the waves here are really fast, really strong, so you need something that can handle the speed. So that's where I'm going with the uh, pocket rocket. Alright, so uh, we've done surf shifties, we've surf surfed everywhere on the beach from two to four, up to four to six. We wake up one day and their, their forecast is reading like five to eight, 18 second, 20 second intervals. An outer reef is on fire. I mean like 12 foot, it's real. 12 foot bigger plus faces, super hollow, super fast. Uh, what are you going to bring? This is a good one. You guys are gonna like this. this. So, <laughs> when it's triple overhead at the point, this is basically my go-to all day. I'm good. It's it's every every huge swell. It's always served me right. Never done me wrong. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if uh, if you're not comfortable in huge waves, uh, dangerous waves could be the wave of your life for sure, but. If you're not comfortable and you don't like waves that big, uh, that's one option. Bring a beer and some cooler. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got one here for you. We got plenty of cold beer and a nice cooler for you to put beer in if you want to just sit back and watch. My go to. Uh, when it gets big, my go to is going to be this baby. So if it is 12 foot plus bases, 10 foot really. I'm going to go ahead and just get this baby, 6'6 six, six Black Beauty. Uh, it's only like 18 and a quarter wide, so it's, it's thin. Uh, it's not very wide, but it's got some thickness in the rail, so I can paddle really good and get in early. So if the forecast is reading 4 to 6 plus, anytime during your week here, you definitely want to bring a step up. If you don't have one, we might have something here to cover you for sure. Because you're going to need it out there. At the outside point, you're going to need something get into this it's it ledges yeah so basically the only wave here that really breaks in our area uh, safe enough to surf is going to be the outer point and it is super heavy super just sucks up huge barrels so get the wave of your life out there yeah so you want to get in early point down and just try to just try to survive and uh, <laughs> yeah so this is going to be the board of my choice so that pretty much covers what we think the boards you need for the different waves we have here. Got anything for the guys? Thanks guys. You yeah, pretty much for? just uh, yeah, get your board bags packed up and get your ticket and get down here because there's nobody here. The waves have been super fun. Last week, you know, first start of the year was amazing, barreling at San Nino. Back just in time to surf some little beach break and barrels out front of shacks. And, Get down here, guys. Come awesome. with us. Thank you guys for checking out our first video of the board meeting. Uh, we like to dress up for the board meeting. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Yoo.